Assalamu alaikum. I hope everyone is doing great. Alhamdulillah, we are fine too. Today I have brought a day out vlog at Bird World. We went in summer holidays, took our kids there. They loved it, enjoyed it. I recorded everything, possibly. Let's get started. So as soon as you enter the Bird World, you see a big kind of a pond. There were so many flamingos over there. Just to mention at the beginning that in this vlog, you won't see anyone except the birds and the animals because I didn't want to add anyone into my video without their consent. So, yes. Then as you move forward, you'll see another pond with lots of different ducks, different sizes, different colors, big and small, ducklings as well. My kids really enjoyed watching different sorts of ducks and their babies. They were quite a lot basically. So yes, so this is the left side of the previous video, a previous clip that I showed you. This is another big massive pond with a big fountain and lots of ducks. They were swimming, they were having fun or they were just sitting beside. And honestly, this was the first time when my kids figured out that there were really, really big fish in this pond as well, which we never, you know, found before. We've been to Bird World quite a few times because my kids, they really enjoy going there. They really like it. So as you can see, there is a building uh, just opposite the fountain. Here I went inside and there inside there were lots of different small rooms converted into cages with lots of different birds inside they were so beautiful honestly they were different sorts of parrots all sorts of you know different birds as soon as you cross that you come into another big room I just walk through the room and then you see a small pond with a kind of a small waterfall it was so lovely honestly the sound of the water was so soothing so nice in this there were quite a big amount of fish few were white few were gold small big i try to record it closely so that you can see so there was some sort of you know this green thing on top of the water but i did manage to get few uh, clips of the fish so yes that's how it all looks like I try to show everything so that you know when you go there actually what, what are you gonna find due to the COVID-19 there were signs everywhere and we had to follow everything all right as soon as you come out of that big room you come to this uh, area which is called well there is a big board wings of love so there is small maze my children always love to play here and there were lots of children who were just doing the same next to that was a big room with lots of different parrots and uh, they were just flying here and there at this point if you look closely you will see the rain but thanks god we took our raincoats and we were safe so there's a sitting bench next to that big room of parrots then I move forward and there were lots of big cages or rooms whatever you want to call it with different sorts of birds there was a big massive area which is a new built which is called owl parliament 
So here you can find all different sorts of owls. I did manage to record this as well. So if everybody, anyone wants to read it, they can pause and read. So here is the entrance to the owl parliament. I went inside, there were different sorts of owls in different parts of this parliament and they were just either sitting inside, flying around. It looked like as if this owl is just continuously looking at me that what am I doing? I really love this one. It was so white and he was so busy scratching. This is called Snowy Owl. Then we moved on, we saw pheasants, they were so colorful honestly, the tail was so big. And as we moved forward there were lots of different birds. I did try to record as much as I can just to give you all an idea that was sort of you know birds you can watch when you go there or what you can expect there was a little tiny bird sitting on the branch thinking something then we moved to another big area where there were lots of different birds and they were just moving here and there. There were lots of different species altogether just in one place, basically. They were just trying to find their food. And there was a big massive net above our head so that the birds don't fly away. So it was a quite good area, lots of different species collected under one roof they were even ducks as well there's a boat over there if you can see under that tree after that, there was a flamingo cove. This was again a big space for them. Lots of flamingos. I know at the beginning of the video, you saw flamingos outside, you know, in the open area. I don't know why it is like that, but there are two places in bird world where you can see flamingo. One inside and one outside in the open area. There is some sitting space as well. So you can see the net above so that nobody can fly away. Then there was a well full of coins. We threw as well. Then there were more birds and birds and birds. This is a place where normally if you go, you find a train, you can sit on the train for a train ride, but due to COVID-19, they stopped it. There were certain play areas which were even closed due to this COVID-19. As you move forward, you see a very big room with lots of tiny birds flying here and there. Due to the COVID-19, they locked the door, otherwise normally you can go inside and have a closer look. But this time we had to stay outside and watch them. Kids really enjoyed watching them. There was a, another small kind of a setting outside those birds room which I recorded. Really like this one. 
Next was penguin and parrot walk. So we walked towards the penguin side. We watched them swimming in the water. It was so much nice to watch penguins so closely. There were lots of penguin. They were having fun. At this point, the rain really started very heavily. So this is a closer look of a penguin swimming. After this, you see this area where lots of, you know, greenery. And as I walked forward, there's that penguin beach. Normally, you sit here for the bird show. But that's the penguin beach. went inside and tried to record as much as I can they were even birds as well and pigeons as well I saw quite a few The penguins were swimming so fast, I was so amazed. So there was net on top of this penguin beach as well, so that the birds don't fly away. Then moving forward, I saw other birds. So that's another look, closer look of how the penguin beach looks like. Here is a pigeon. That's their house. They were like so many, honestly. Then coming out of the penguin beach, there is a dinosaur maze. I went inside. My kids love going inside. They play here for so long. Every time we go there. There's a dinosaur, scary one, big mouth open, big teeth. It's really scary when you stand so close to the dinosaur and, and watch it. There were so many children behind me and it was really difficult for me to record this part without including any of them that's a big massive one i really like this one honestly it looks so real there's another one then i came out of the maze I think that's an ostrich if I'm not wrong there are quite a few sitting areas I'm sure from the top and the bottom as well there's another maze but it was closed due to the 
COVID-19. Normally my kids go there, play there a lot. It's a quite big one. You know, sometimes I go and play with them. Another play area closed. And there's a Jenny Ren farm. We went inside. There are lots of chicken, all different colors, sizes. My little one, he loves running after them and try to catch them and plays with them a lot. He loves this part of the bird world. And the chicken were quite massive, honestly. Then we saw reindeer, two of them. My little one tried to go close to them and wash them. He really loves, all of my children, they love going to Burwell. We love going to Burwell. It's a really nice place, honestly. They learn so much. They get to see so much which normally we just can't offer them. So there was a description. If anyone wants to read, they can pause the video and read it. So there were quite a few areas which were shut and we just couldn't go inside. Lots of ducks, different colors. Ducklings. My little one loved watching them. And there were big rooms with lots of different um, birds and different species of basically everything you just go inside have a look then moving forward you see lots of different species of rabbits this one was so cute he was so busy eating his food These are their homes. Few were outside running around here and there. Few were inside sitting nicely, peacefully. So this farm area is quite big, massive, I would say. Really big. And it's really good to when you go there and you see lots of different animals and birds just running around. And honestly, you feel as if you are in a jungle in, in nature. So really really good feeling when you go there he's busy eating as well then we saw a goat again she's busy eating this was quite a big area as well lots of tires i don't know why but there were lots of tires Then moving forward, there was another big pond with lots of big ducks. And I stood there for quite a long time and they literally all came to me with the hope that I'm just going to give them some food. But they, we were not allowed to give them anything from our food. Nobody was allowed basically. It was quite a big area for them as well for swimming and for playing around. So here's another goat busy eating food. So there's a play area which was like kind of a partially opened. My little one went inside. At this point it was really heavy rain. But we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it a lot. There's a bird coming. So not a bird. I don't know. I didn't even see the name. There was so much to see, you know. Right. So there's a small triangle um, kind of a 
thing you see a window a glass window you go close you can see turtles so this is i believe the mama turtle because there were lots of baby turtles over there as well it was slowly slowly coming towards me then i went to the parrot walk and there were lots of big massive parrots over there and then i came across this place i love this place uh, water lilies just look at them how lush green they are i tried to find few water lilies for you all as well you will see there you go I'm so big messy I really wanted to bring a few home but I couldn't it was really really I really like this part of world world of course in spring because in winters you just can't find anything over there the flower wise otherwise it's beautiful Yeah, so another big parrot staring at me and I was staring at him. There were quite a few sitting areas which were closed as well. But we always take our snacks and drinks from home. It's always easy because you know, you know your children much better what they like to eat, what they don't. So it's better to take what they prefer. There were massive trees as well. I tried to record that. These blue big balls my children always call mama they are dinosaur eggs. I don't know if they are. No idea. Then from this part you'll see I'll be moving back towards the entrance of World World. It was a massive area I covered. But of course I couldn't cover much area due to the due to other people who were visiting. I didn't want to include anyone in my video without their consent because I don't think it's a nice thing to do as I would never want myself to be included in anyone's video without my consent, without my permission. So here I'm walking towards the entrance, just to give you an idea that there are various different ways you can go back to the entrance. So on the left side, you will see the parrot's big room, which I showed you in the beginning. They were even hiding inside their houses due to rain. So that's a big massive building showing the uh, sitting area. If you want to sit inside, have some snacks. But due to this COVID-19, we just couldn't sit. So that's the exit. Social distancing. These boards were just everywhere. The shop inside, um, you know, the entrance was shut. But there was stuff they moved to the right side so that people can easily walk through. We couldn't go in there, couldn't buy anything. So yeah, so basically that's the end of the bird world. I hope you have enjoyed the trip with me. And uh, the underwater world was also shut due to the COVID-19. But I hope you have enjoyed the vlog. Please do leave some comments and I shall see you in my next video. Till that time, have a good day and Allah Hafiz.